We spent 100 days in Minecraft Pixelmon, and here's what happened. When I was younger, I remember being obsessed with watching Pokemon TV shows. So when Pokesaga hit me and Gamers Up, we jumped at the opportunity. But it's been a long time since I've watched Pokemon, so it looks like we're going to have to learn as we go along. We'll be playing on the Poke Galaxy realm of the Pokesaga server. The IP is on screen now and also in the description along with a video showing how to download the mod pack. So you can play on the server too and come and visit our area. In this video we had three main goals. The first was to catch our favourite Pokemon, the second was to defeat a gym and the third was to complete as much as the Pokedex as we possibly could. Will we be able to complete these goals? Keep watching to find out. But anyways let's get straight into the 100 days. Day 1 was here and we couldn't wait to start our adventure. We chose our starting Pokemon and I chose a Totodile while gamers opted for a Charmander. Also in previous 100 days videos you guys said that you wanted to hear both of our voices. So in this video we included some clips where you can hear both of our voices. Do you think we should start off with a little battle? Uh, yeah, how do we do that? Uh, I have no idea. We then finally learned how to battle and luckily I was able to win. This would be the first of many battles between me and gamers. I may have won the battle but both our Pokemon were very low on health so we decided to go and get them healed. To do this we walked to spawn and then went and found the healing place. Oh okay, this looks like the right place. Let's... Oh yes it says healer. Nice, okay. let's go. Thank you. Let me kill those Pokemon for you. Oh, nice. So we then decided to fight again and gamers realized that his Pokemon was a bit weaker than mine. Yeah, I'm gonna mess you up. I got this. Oh! What? Oh my god. So we decided to do slash warp ev to level up our Pokemon. This is where you can fight your Pokemon against trainers of different levels. And we opted for the level 5 one as our Pokemon were very new. We then spent the remainder of day one training up our Pokemon. Day 2 was here and we decided it was time to find a location to build our house. So we set up a warp. This means that if you do slash warp lockdown, you'll be able to come to the place where we're going to build our house. We then spent the rest of day 2 and 3 catching all the Pokemon that we liked the look of. We also did a bit of exploring and found some nice items in a desert temple. We didn't know what they did but they looked cool. The next 2 days were spent levelling up our new Pokemon. And gamers managed to evolve his Charmander into a Charmeleon. As day 5 was drawing to a close, gamers and I decided it was time for another fight. But it didn't go very well for me, as gamers was able to take out all my Pokemon with his Devil Dog. On day 6 we had a look at the Pokedex and realised we had quite a long way to go. The rest of day 6 was spent getting wood, saving a Geodude and clearing out some land for our new house. And on day 7 we went mining and found a lot of new stuff that we hadn't seen before. This included Crystal, Ruby and Amethyst. We had no idea what these strange items did but we took them anyway and increased our mining skill while doing so. On day 8 we decided we'd done enough mining so we decided to escape the cave by doing slash warp lockdown. Then from day 8 to day 15 I marked out our compound with some nice walls whilst gamers built us a nice little house. Also during this time I caught myself this beefy Pokemon and this kind man gave me some presents and we now had our very own healer and PC. On day 16 we were getting annoyed by all the Pokemon inside our base so we decided to kill them all. Plus I also killed all of gamers Pokemon too. Then we both used our new healer to get our Pokemon back to full health. On day 17 we decided it was time to take on a quest. So we decided to take on the Pokemon student quest. This means we had to defeat 250 wild Pokemon. This would take a while but we got straight to it. So over the next few days we spent over an hour in real life time battling wild Pokemon. And finally on day 22 we had completed the quest and we were very happy with ourselves. On day 23 we were very tired after the quest so we decided to take it easy and play some catch. As you can see we weren't too good at it. After that we decided to practice our speed throwing. On day 24 we walked to the many shops and explored them. Day 25 was here and I spotted an army of Rattatas at our base. We then headed out to look for some cool Pokemon. 
The next day I spotted a big bird that I wanted to capture, but after a lot of attempts, I gave up. It wasn't all bad, I managed to catch myself a Rhyhorn instead. On day 27, I continued to try and catch the cool looking bird until eventually I managed to capture it. I was very happy with myself. And even better, I found some loot on this day too. Day 28 was spent exploring the desert temple and also capturing myself a nice little jellyfish. On day 29, I nearly drowned myself, but it was worth it because I managed to catch a whale. Day 30 consisted of me catching a weird pink cow before it could kill itself. Stop! On the end of day 31, I found this weird portal. It was very scary, so I decided not to go into it. But by the time day 32 came along, I had built up enough courage to go through the portal. And I found this weird land that was very misty and very red. In this land, there was very low gravity, so I could jump really high. There was weird bushes and Pokemon I'd never seen before. Oh, and I also caught myself a Stunky, which basically looks like a skunk. There were strange rocks everywhere, and the sky was different colours in different places. This little world was definitely very weird, and I didn't really feel safe here. I was a massive rock that looks weird. But nevertheless, I decided to stay here for at least a few more days. And I'm glad I did, because on day 33, I found this spider with an orange name. And I thought to myself, orange name equals good. So I decided to capture it. Once I did, I found out it was a legendary Pokemon and I was very happy with myself. Woo! On day 34, <laughs> I caught a Pokemon because it looked cute. Then I got trapped in a fight with a Ghastly. I finally resorted to re-logging to get out of the fight and then I safely returned home. Day 35 was spent waiting for gamers to return home, but I got bored so decided to go back out to explore. I found a mesa biome and caught a guy called Aaron, but I forgot to record, so I just went ahead and caught another one. Then I noticed I had leveled up my catching to level 5, but there was still a long way to go if I wanted to get on the skills leaderboard. Then I found a weird object called like mail, didn't really know what it was, but I found it and I signed it with my name. I then finished off the day by catching a Pokemon that was wearing a nappy. Day 36 was the day I found a mineshaft. I was then surprised when I mined the spawner and it actually dropped. This was also the day that gamers found a gym and he noted down the coordinates so we could go back to it later. The next day I said hi to a Diglett as I was passing by. Then I ran out of Pokeballs trying to catch a wheelbarrow full of coal. And to finish off the day, I found a heavy ball. On day 38, Gamers was finally ready to return home, so I did slash warp lockdown. Then I gave the like mail to Gamers because he was a good friend. After that, I created a pig pit, but a ratata thought it was a pig. And to end off the day, some very nice people came and visited and gave us some stuff. Just to let you know guys, we are working on 300 days as this video is being released. So if you're excited for it and you made it to this point in the video, then please leave this video a like so I know how many of you are excited for 300 days. But anyways, back to the video. On day 39, we decided to show each other some of our favourite Pokemon that we had gathered in the previous 10 days. Gamers showed me his Quagsire first and I said it looked a little bit like Dream. I showed Gamers my cow and he found it really funny. <laughs> Gamers then showed me this bird and he said it looked like an angry bird. Then he showed me his favourite Pokemon, which was this tiny Psyduck. And then I finished it off by showing him my cute Pokemon that I found in the weird dimension. And of course, the wheelbarrow full of coal that I wasted all my Pokeballs on. On day 40, we gathered up our strongest Pokemon. We then spent the rest of the day traveling towards the gym. I should also mention that before we left to go to the gym, we put this guy in his natural habitat. We were hoping to be able to complete our goal of defeating the gym. So we traveled throughout a vast array of landscapes. And by day 41, we had arrived at the gym. So we equipped our strong Pokemon and went straight into battle. And to cut a long story short, all of our Pokemon got murdered. We were forced to warp home in defeat. On day 42, I healed my Pokemon. Then I showed gamers my legendary Pokemon that I forgot to show him before, but he didn't like it very much because he's scared of spiders. 
we then decided that we'd need to train our Pokemon up if we were to have any chance at beating the gym. So we selected our strongest Pokemon and headed to the training center. We then spent the next in-game week leveling up our Pokemon as much as we could. So enjoy a nice little leveling up montage. And on day 51 we were finally ready to take on the gym again. But sadly we still weren't powerful enough to beat it, so all of our Pokemon fainted again. Completing this goal was going to be much harder than we thought. On day 52 I was tired of losing, so I challenged gamers to a 1v1. And I was delighted when my Mandibirds managed to take out 4 of gamers Pokemon. And my Buffalump was able to take out the rest. Whilst in the fight we spotted the strange looking thing in our base and we were very curious so we rushed to finish the fight and went to check it out. And so on the morning of day 53 we went to check out the weird creature in our base. It turns out it was a legendary boss. So gamers attempted defeating it but he failed. I then let my Mandibuzz loose on it and my Mandibuzz was able to kill it. Legendary bosses are the hardest bosses in the game, so this filled me with a lot of confidence. The next day we decided to walk to a Spleef event. It was very fun, but sadly I got knocked out quite early on. However, gamers managed to secure second place, which was good enough for us. Day 55 was spent organising our chests. We then did slash warp crates and opened a skill crate. I got a random mega stone and I have no idea what that does and gamers got some money. On day 56 our Pokemon wanted to play in the cave so we let them. Then we opened some great crates and I got a lot of money. With this money I decided to buy a trading machine and put it inside our house. And on day 57 I watched gamers take on this massive boss. Day 58 was a fairly busy day. Firstly we worked on a playground for the Pokemon. Then we spent a bit of time catching Pokemon to fill out the Pokedex. And then finally I attempted to kill this legendary boss but it was a bit too strong for me. The next day we finished the playground and let the Pokemon play. We also went out and caught some more Pokemon to fill out the Pokedex. We then spent the next two days on some building projects. Gamers built this beautiful bridge and I built this very functional subscribe sign. So guys don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Oh and also during these two days I managed to defeat a legendary boss and got myself a nice little bracelet in return. We then spent the next three days chasing our goal of completing the Pokedex. To do this we were non-stop catching Pokemon. Also on day 63 I managed to complete one of my goals, which was catching my favourite Pokemon, the Weedle. And on day 65 we thought it would be a good idea to show off some of our newest Pokemon. Alright let's do another Pokemon showcase, here's my first one. Okay, Oh, this one's cool. Yeah it's pretty nice. It's looking. like. It's like Pikachu a little bit, but like... Yeah, he's not. just he's just fake <laughs> Pikachu, I think. Alright. <laughs> okay, well, here's my first one. Oh my god. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that is massive. I, know, I it's have like one of these, three but it's not tall. anywhere near as big. This next one is the weirdest one I got. It's like, it's literally a sword. What? <laughs> How is that a big one? That's just a sword. What's this guy? Oh yeah, it's just a <laughs> little tiny... <laughs> quite a chunky dog for how small he is <laughs> yeah yeah and then i've got this very exotic pokemon i uh, don't know if okay. you've seen it before oh yeah uh <laughs> <laughs> the classic that's the most annoying one 
Ah, uh, <laughs> there it is. Okay, what's this one? Oh yeah, it's my little bean. The next day, we opened some skill crates, and both me and gamers got twenty-five thousand dollars, which is more than enough to buy some more Pokeballs. At this point in the 100 days, we realized that we had neglected our starter Pokemon and that with some training, they could be really powerful. So we made the hard decision to devote the next 20 days to training up our starter Pokemon. We were aiming to get them to level 100 and we were hoping that this would help us defeat the gym. And with our goal in mind, we got to grinding. After fully evolving my Pokemon, my goal was to make it powerful in all aspects, health, attack and defense. And so the grinding continued. And finally, after hours of grinding, my Feraligator was level 100. On day 88, we decided to fight each other with our Pokemon to find out whose was the best. We fought three times and I managed to win twice. I was pretty happy with the results. A lot of this was due to the fact that my Pokemon was a water type and gamer's best Pokemon was a fire type. And of course, water beats fire. On day 89, we finally found out that you could actually ride the Pokemon. So we took advantage of this and flew our way to the gym. Day 90 was here and we had arrived at the gym. This was probably our last chance to defeat the gym. So we put everything we had into it. Firstly, I easily defeated the guy who I had struggled to defeat before. Then I systematically went around the top of the gym, taking out each one as I went along. That left only one guy left in the basement. But this was the leader of the gym and he had 6 level 100 Pokemon. I tried over and over again, but I couldn't seem to defeat him. No matter what I tried, he one shot all my Pokemon. But then, on day 95, I managed to take him out. I don't really know how I did it, but it happened. And I was rewarded with this green feather. We then spent the next two days catching Pokemon to fill out the Pokedex. I used something called incense to attract the Pokemon to me so I could catch more of them. And I caught a Pokemon that would rather jump into lava than be my friend. And on the end of day 97, we returned home. On day 98, we had another Pokemon Showcase. Alright gamers, are you ready to see the first one of my collection this time? Yes, okay, what is it? Here you go. It's a nice exotic zebra oh. that I've been trying to catch for ages. <laughs> Finally it's only got level one. nine. <laughs> I know this is one of your favourite Pokemon, if not your favourite. The tiny Weedle. Oh yes, the classic Weedle, my favourite Pokemon. There it is. It's so small as well. This one actually jumped into lava uh, when I was trying to catch it. It really didn't want to be caught, but now, now it's mine. <laughs> what is that? It's just a, to a toadstool, but also half a Pokeball. Yeah. <laughs> Mine is this little pink thing. It's oh my. It's a Weezmer. Listen, listen. Oh. <laughs> oh it's shy, shy. Okay. Go on, you can do it. Go on. There we go. See Weezmer. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's this one. Oh, nice! No, got an elephant. elephant. This elephant took like 50, 50 ultra balls to get. All right, keeping with the cute trend, I have got a rabbit. <laughs> <laughs> On day ninety-nine, we had completed two of our goals, but we had only filled about ten percent of the Pokédex. So we decided to scrap that goal for now and make our base look a bit nicer with a path and a well. And then it was here. 
Day 100. We had spent 100 days in Minecraft Pixelmon, and now all that was left to do was sit back and relax with our Pokemon and enjoy the views of our base. Remember guys, if you do want to come and visit our base, log on to the Pokesaga server and use slash warp lockdown to come to our base. But anyways guys, be sure to like and subscribe if you did enjoy the video and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.